Ladies and gentlemen, we're here in Hope, New Jersey, on the corner of Hope Ridgeville Road and High Street. Here to warn the people to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, I've come here to this town today to give you a warning. Each and every one of you who may be living in sin, for you to turn to Jesus Christ while you still have life in you today. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Hey, how are you? Give me six feet. Give me six feet. All right. What can I do for you, sir? I live in this town. Okay. I'm trying to teach a class right now. Trying to teach a class. Okay. What is all this? And do we need all this noise infringing upon everybody who lives here? Well, you see, God is calling people to repent of sin okay. and God believe in Jesus Christ. Can God do it at a time when we're not living in this community? Well, that's the whole point, sir. For everyone to come to, to, to salvation through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only way for them to be saved. Okay, but do you need to present this to everybody in this community right now? Well, God, God, God has called me to go out to every city and town to warn the people to repent of sin and believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. So th that's why I'm here, sir. That's your for them. business. That's not my business. And okay. I don't want well, God, to to it. This God desires that everyone come to repentance. Well, yeah. I live here. I don't want to listen to this. Oh, if you don't want to listen to this, that's okay. All right. So how about the Bible that says that Jesus came take your not for the righteous, but the sinners in need of repentance. So God bless you, sir. I'm here to tell you today that uh, judgment is coming. And God is calling us to repent and believe in Jesus Christ. Okay. If you reject, are you spread rejecting your, that message? Spread your message. Are you rejecting that message? Okay, you're not. You're rejecting message. that message then. I'm assuming that you're rejecting that message. So ladies and gentlemen, today God is calling us to turn away from sin and believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Give me six feet. Seven feet. I'm a voice teacher. and I Give me seven feet. I'm a voice teacher and I have students coming and they can't. I can't teach with this. They're paying me and I can't teach with this. Okay, I can turn it down. That's what I can do. All right, God bless you. Likewise, John the Baptist said Jesus Christ launched the New Testament with prophetic warnings and calls to repentance. We need not to look far for reasons because God opposes the proud and he uses catastrophes and disasters to undermine the arrogance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, today it's important for you to understand that the time is almost near. Excuse me. Ma'am, nice. give me seven feet. Give I me space. Nice. Give, so me space. Shut up give me so space. Shut up. Give me space, ma'am. Give me space. Back up. Let's give me space. Up. Give me space. Thank you. Jesus Christ is coming soon. I'm telling you right now. God is calling Meanwhile, people to repent. Ma'am, so all of that is irrelevant. Now I could the important, okay. You want to get big and tough because the police are here? Listen to the message. Heed the warning, ma'am, okay? God bless you. God bless you, officer. What can I do for you? So what's the deal? What are you doing? Uh, my name is Jokas. Okay. Um, I've come here today because it's my job, it's my duty. Actually, hold on for a second. Let me just turn this off. I've come here today because it's my job and my duty as a watchman to deliver the warning to the people because God is calling people to repent of sin and believe in Jesus Christ. I'm not here to be seen by men. I'm not here to be a nuisance. I know the city ordinance of this town. Okay. So, I want people to understand that I'm just here for a moment and then I will be done. As soon as I'm done delivering my message, which is another five, 10 minutes, okay. I'll be finished and I'll be out of here because I noticed that the town is already starting to rise up against me. Well, it's just, it's, I was driving by and it was loud over the, the speaker. Okay. Right? So it's kind of creating an issue. Okay. You understand? Where are you from? I was sent by the kingdom of the most high to come here today well, and deliver a, mor a morning. I live in the spirit of God. Okay, where's your house? My house is in heaven. I have citizenship in heaven. All right, man. I'm not messing with you. I'm just being honest. Do you have an ID on you? Yes, I do, sir. Can I see it, please? Now, being that you are a state police officer, you should know that in the state of New Jersey, unless I'm being given a city ordinance or I'm being charged with a crime, I have the right to reserve my identification. No disrespect to you. I'm for the police. I'm not Black Lives Matter. You know, I feel like we need police, but 
I'm just letting you know that that's my right, you know. I mean, I'm Yokus. That's my alias. You know, that's why I go by. Okay. Where'd you come? Where'd you have a car? Yes, I do have a vehicle. Okay. Is it parked here? Yes, it's here. It's it's in the town. I don't understand why you're creating a problem. I just don't get it. I'm not creating a problem. Sin is the problem. God is calling people to repent of sin and to believe in Jesus Christ. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And all those who reject him, they'll be thrown into the lake of fire. I'm just here to deliver that message and once I'm it's, done, I'm, it's I'm fine. done. You could do that, but what I'm saying is you're, it's to a point where it's, it's way too loud. Okay, I could turn it down. Okay. All right, just hang down for a second, all right? You're just going to stay here? Yes, yes. Are you finished or... You finished? Okay, thank you. God bless you. All right, so he said I can continue doing what I'm doing. I just need to turn it down, and uh, that's that. So it seems like the whole town has risen up against me. We got police over here. One, two, three. All right, one, two. Three cop cars, one, two, three, four, and five officers up here. How you doing tonight, sir? God bless you. Yeah, I just spoke to these officers here. If you would like you to know. Kong yesterday? Yes, that was me. I heard you. Oh, you heard me. Congratulations. No, I mean, I heard you like from my car. Oh, wait, wait. You said low. Oh, low pack Kong. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that was I me. I thought I was driving down without the light. Mm -hmm. I'm like, some of these blasting sound like, you know, NPR radio. <laughs> like, NPR. I'm, window, I'm like, what car is that? And then, it, you know, I look in the corner, it was you. Okay. So, is your car here? Did you drive here? I've I've traveled here. An hour and, I guess, some minutes. You didn't walk here, though, right? It's, it's my job to be here. You know God? I went to CCD. Okay. He sent me here to deliver a message to this town. Once my message is delivered, I'm I'm finished. That's it. Right, you're, just gonna, you're just gonna turn it down for us. Yes, right? yes, I already did actually. Okay. I already right, you keep did. Doing what you're doing then. And if you get another complaint, I'll just leave. All right, sounds good. All right, we can shake on that. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's okay, all right. All right. You have my word. Bit, it's fine. If you get another complaint, any one of you, I'll just leave. Okay, sounds good. That works. Some some of these folks, they said that they're working nights, so they're trying to sleep. Pretty, you know, it's a religious town, but at the same time, it's turned out a little bit, right? Yeah, and you know what? The warning goes out to lukewarm Christians too. You know. Well, uh, can you turn it on right now so we can hear how loud it is, just so we know how loud okay. it's gonna be? I like the sound of that. Uh, mic check one two. Is that good? Yeah, you're good. Um, have a good one. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. God bless you. It's my first encounter with state police. <laughs> yeah, right? I get the police call on me everywhere I go. <laughs> Woo. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. God is calling us to turn away from sin. That's the message, ma'am, sir. Amen. Like I said before, ladies and gentlemen, we need not look far for reasons. God opposes the proud and uses disasters to undermine rejected. the arrogance. The Bible says in James chapter 4, verse 13 through 17, he calls out the sin of living life as functional atheists, operating as though God is paying us no real attention. Assuming our security lies simply in planning and protecting our profits and materialistic things. It's important today for you to understand that the creator of the heavens and earth hates death. But Satan delights in it. How are you doing? What can I do for you? Great. I just asked how, how long you plan to be here tonight. Well, once I finish my message, okay. I will be done. Right. I'll be out of here. Yeah, how right. long is that? 
I don't know. Why? Because you're disturbing people. There's a, there's a person up here who's trying to come uh -huh. to, to get some that's okay. rest because of the or virus. Just, yeah, let's, let's, let's just, yeah, I mean, you keep an eye on the time and, and uh, we appreciate it. If, you okay. Know. Well, I got another message to deliver. That one's probably like 10 minutes long or 15. Yeah. I'm not going to be here for hours. Okay. You're, you're <laughs> what time is it right now, by the way? It's uh, about six. It's about seven o'clock. I'll probably be done by almost eight or whatever. Okay. So okay. I'm not going to be out here no Maybe nine, ten o'clock at night. Turn down a little bit and, and, uh, and doing the direct oh. so the way you, so kind of Christian. You, you said you're a, wait, wait. You said you're a Christian. You just have people getting upset with you. You're just turning people away. So you're. Uh, so what? So what? What did Peter do? What did Peter do, sir? Since you said you're a Christian, what did Peter do? He said we ought to obey God rather than men, right? But we don't disturb people and make them hate you. So you just add disturb people. Sin disturbs. You're not disturbed by sin, sir. Your sin is disturbing the guy. My sin. God sent me here. So how is what God sent do, sent me to do is sin? Sir, you're contradicting yourself. You don't even know what you're saying. Sir, go back to the Word of God and understand that what I'm doing is biblical.